Hey everybody, it's Justin from J3 Creations, and today we're going to be working with this shirt and going to be doing a mandala on the arm. So, with this pattern, you can do your beginning fold here or here. You can have it down the arm a bit or on the shoulder, on the armpit. You can do kind of whatever you would like with the pattern. It's a pretty simple fold once you understand the concept of it. It's a basic airplane fold. And I'm going to start with my mandala here. And so we're going to do the first fold like so. And then fold one back. That'll get you a four point mandala. And then one more fold will get you an eight point mandala. So that's part of it. Now we gotta flip it. And to do that, I'm going to firmly grasp both sides and kind of flip the rest of the shirt as so. So once you flip it, you kind of want to ensure that you're folds stayed intact during the flip. So we're doing one fold back. Like so. Making sure that your lines are straight each time. And then flatten your surface area. And then Go for that eight point mandala. The rest of the shirt will kind of do its thing. We'll get some elastics on there. That'll just help the fold to stay intact while I'm moving it around and getting it tied up with the sinew. So we're going to make a simple slip knot real quick. And we'll pull that tight on the end of the fabric. Flip it over, pull it tight, and you're on your way. So I'm going to keep some pretty firm tension, wrap two or three times, and then you pull tight until you feel the sinew lock in on itself. And then you go the opposite direction. I'm just going to do a simple zigzag pattern because that's my favorite, but you can look up a lot of different um, designs as far as this fold pattern goes. It's, it's very versatile. And again, you just kind of pull until the sinew locks in on itself, and you can kind of feel when it does that. Make sure you're keeping tension on the line the whole time, and that'll help your final product. So you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm going to remove that first little rubber band, slip it on over, and wrap one more time, and go for another point. Oops. And 
I'll probably work my way up to about here. You could potentially go further if you want, but for this video, that's all I'm going to do. Almost done here, folks. But basically, just going to that back portion, zigzagging the way up, making sure we pull tight every time. And that just ensures that you get a nice, clean white line. If you don't pull tight, you can end up with either no white line or a jagged white line, which can happen from a folding error as well, but seems like each part of this is a bit of a science. So there is the mandala on the arm. Oops. My red has gotten really clumpy. I just got some uh, urea, I think is how you say it. But basically I'm hoping to fix that, dear God. And then I'm gonna do the black on the mandala here. That is not my best mandala, I will admit. So, this mandala has been sitting for about 24 hours. I'm going to unwrap it before I rinse it out, just because, well, when you've got this full of moisture, it's kind of like messing around with a wet noodle. And it's just a little bit easier to unravel things when it's not soaking wet. So, that's what we're going to do today. And it'll help you to be able to see kind of the colors and how the pattern turned out overall. Got to get that little slip knot off of there. Alright, so... Kind of slowly open her up. Not as good color saturation as I'd like. Almost looks like a little alien in there. But, um, yeah, I've been struggling with my color saturation levels lately. But it still looks pretty cool. I'll say that. And then get the other side. So that is a... 
basically a partial mandala on your sleeve. And like I said, you know, you could start that from the armpit, the top of the arm, the bottom, you know, the sleeve. But in this video, this is where I chose to put the center point. I think it's pretty cool. I'll get it rinsed out and then we can get some final pictures.